Much of the first day of testing the Bavarian Demon Cortex involved gusty winds up to around 25 miles an hour. I started out taking off with the Demon shut off. Landing approaches from the right at our field and gusty winds are notorious for swirling, bouncy winds. But the Cortex smoothed that right out and as long as I kept enough power on, it landed fine. Homo doesn't land in a plane for you. You've got to work the elevator and the throttle, but pay attention to those, and landing a plane even in gusty winds is not difficult. In the next clip, I got caught watching how clean the plane was coming in and forgot about the power, and it just fell through and it lost enough airspeed. And I found out that if you bounce a plane in the middle of a big gust of wind, the Cortex thinks you're trying to take off. And I just gassed it and flew out of that one. The Cortex does help a little bit in stuff like rolling Harriers, but if you're not giving it the right controls, it's just going to fall out of it. It doesn't do the flying for you. The Cortex does stabilize knife edge flight, but it doesn't do it for you. You still have to use the rudder right, and you're using the elevator to steer. The wing does stay pretty stable, though. This was still during the first day when there's some really bouncy winds up there. Cortex also stabilizes elevators very well. And another thing I like about this unit is that using the rudder doesn't confuse anything. You still have full control of the plane through all the stabilization. I know you want to see the hands-off hovering, and we did try that a few times. This is where I found out that the Cortex will hover this plane hands-off for a little while if you pull it up perfectly straight. If not, it's going to drift whichever way you got it leaning. And this is where I found out how important gain settings are in the hold mode. Go a little too fast and the oscillations can be down just as well as they are up. And the higher gains don't promise a hover if you don't get the plane set right for the wind that you have. This is a good example of how the Cortex can hold a hover, but not its position if it's windy out. The wind just pushes it like a kite. In this shot we got a little bit of a no-hands hover along with an almost mid-air. No problem. And you can see the wind is still pushing it along sideways. And this is an almost hands-off hover with bad throttle management. You do have to fly the plane, it just does not do this all by itself. Now this is actually on day two I and mean, the winds were a little bit better and from the opposite direction. But we did get a better hands-off hover. When you get it nice and straight, it will hang there a while. On day two with less wind, I was getting more comfortable with the hovers and we're getting them lower to the ground. One of the things I wondered about the Cortex is if you could do this. And you can, but it's not easy for me anyway. It seems like in a hover the wing stays put pretty well, but you gotta fly the fuselage everywhere you go, otherwise it just falls out. And here my chicken showed through and up we go. You should know that all of these attempts are made with my hands shaking so bad from something I did the first time around. We'll show you that at the end. I just want to stress that the Cortex helps this a ton, but you've got to be flying the airplane. And this is that first attempt in this flight, when all my buddies behind me were all giving me a hard time telling me to touch the tail in the grass. I really had no intention of doing that, but I just wanted to back it up and see how close I could get. And then it got to sinking a little faster than I was expecting, but it was still in control, so I let it go, and there we touch it. And here you can see that touching the tail with a little too much downward speed has consequences. This is a sheeted rudder, so it's going to be taking the covering off and kind of rearranging everything and gluing it back down, and we should be just fine. But I can promise you the next time I try this, I'm going to be a little more on top of throttle management. So if you've been thinking about a fixed wing gyro to give you a little bit of a hand, you need to think about the Bavarian Demon Cortex. This is far and away the best fixed wing gyro I've tried. It's not cheap, but the first crash it prevents pretty much pays for itself. And I think the adjustability of this gyro makes it a great training tool. 
you can quite literally wean yourself off at a gyro as you progress with your skills. Or you can just use the gyro full force to have fun. Used in competition, this would actually be cheating. But for a sport flyer, it's just fun. People can call me what they want, but I know I'm having fun and I'm learning something. And I'm not wrecking a very expensive airplane in the process. Bavarian Demon Cortex and a little common sense makes for a great day at the field. <laughs>